All right, guys, um, welcome back. Today is Thursday, the fourth day of the Under the Sea Week, our second last day. And for today, we're gonna be making origami uh, sailboats. So what you're gonna need for today is one full piece of paper. Well, you're gonna need two full pieces of paper for a little thing we're gonna do at the end. And then you're also going to need colors in your ship mm -hmm. and you're gonna need a pair of scissors okay so then go get whatever you need come back pause the video right now and then we can get started bye guys, hey guys. so yeah so we're gonna make origami boats um, if you guys can't follow um, I've been doing this for a bit I know how to do these so if you need to pause the video at any time you don't want to fall behind because if you make a wrong fold it won't look as good as it could but we're obviously not hoping for that so yeah um make sure you have your paper here remember to pause it if you need to let's go so the first fold is like this you want to make sure all the sides are synced up completely and look perfect all right now the next step you're gonna want to make the second fold fold it in half again and then there we go so now then after that what we're gonna have to do and this is what I'm saying, you guys should maybe pause it. It's just gonna get a little bit more complicated from here on out. It's not gonna just be as much basic folding or anything. It's gonna be a bit harder. So then the next fold that we're gonna have to do is like this. Just two in a row. We're gonna have to go, look. Bend one of the sides. I'll do it so you guys can see like this. Forward this way. Leave a little bit of room, not too much. Make sure it's even though. Nice. And then crisp it so it stays in its place. And then go and do a, another one. Exactly the same. Okay, now you should have it the exact same on both sides. As you can see, split directly down the middle. Okay. So yeah, no, so go ahead, pause it now. Make sure you have this completely down. Remember the first fold to the second fold. All right, guys, so remember right here. Now the next step is you see this bottom part right here? You're gonna wanna fold it in half once. So you still have half of the white there, but you also just have only half and not the whole thing. So just make sure to, to do it and then push it down so it stays in place. And there you go. And then you're gonna wanna fold it over one more time. It's very important that you don't do it all in one fold and you split up the folds into two. It's very, very important. So now you see two folds exactly like this. All right, now pause the video if you need to. Like this one's folded over and you still have this bottom flap, the other half of the paper open over here. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take this part right over here and you're just gonna wanna Flatten it up once. Flatten it up once so it's lined up like this. See, this was the first one that we've already done. And then you're gonna come over here to this piece. You see this piece? On both sides, you're just gonna fold this over. So now you guys can see this was over here, a little piece was hanging out. And you just have to fold it over to the side. Do that on both ends. And look. Uh, yeah, not too hard so far. I don't think so. Uh, if you are having difficulty, go back. I will say go back. Definitely uh, don't do what you're not comfortable with because it is going to get hard. And even right now, if you're not feeling comfortable and you don't want to do it, you don't need to. Right now, you already have a form of a sailboat. But if you want to keep on continuing, we will. Okay, so now look. Now you're over here. You have this on the front. You have the first fold already made. You have it folded in the back. Now you're gonna to wanna to flip this fold that you have in the front over here, one back. So it's gonna look something like this. 
see this? And these sides should be folded over already. And what you're gonna to wanna to do for the other one is just fold it over the same way. So it should just be folded over twice. It's just so you can't see them. They tuck them in a bit. You guys see? It's very nice. If you guys wanna stop here, you can. Um, there is a bit more to it if you guys wanna get more in depth. But yeah, if you want to, you can just skip to the next part of the video because we still have a bit more of the activity to do. But if you guys want the more in-depth version, keep watching. Cool, so you're still here. Next step, you're gonna put your hand in, find the tip top, push it out a little bit, and you're just gonna fold it the other way so it's like a diamond. And then with this diamond, you're gonna take one of the bottom folds, this one right here, doesn't matter which, you guys obviously are the same, and you're just gonna fold it up only slightly. It's not supposed to be completely touching it, but it's supposed to look something like this. You guys see? So this is the paper in the back, this is the paper in the front. They're lined up, but they're not directly together. This one's a bit smaller than this triangle. And you're gonna come to the other side and do the exact. Same thing, you're gonna find the point. You're gonna push. And then there we go. Remember guys, it's never a bad thing to rewind a bit if you need to. This is what we're doing, all right? So now you're going to want to, you see now, how it is, you're gonna to wanna to go in reverse and pull it out again. So now you have this. Oh, it's a little weird shape, but you guys are gonna see what it turns into in a second. Okay, okay, everything's flattened out. You're gonna to want to Pull this over. <clears throat> okay, just quickly do one fold. Remember how it was like this? Now it's just like this. It's not completely touching, but it's pretty close. And then you're gonna go to the other side and just do the egg. Find the point, do the exact same thing. Okay, so you guys are seeing this now? Look, nice, very nice. <sighs> All right, now we're just checking, making sure everything's good. And what you're gonna do, final step, pull one side out, pull the other side out, and then look at that, you have a little boat. Very nice, guys, you can see, it's a very nice little boat. Maybe you'll wanna adjust it a bit, maybe you'll want it a bit more open on the inside, whatever you guys would want. I tend to keep it pretty, folded still just so none of my folds come to undone but yeah that's it guys and now the second portion of the activity if you want to you can take a little piece of paper and you can make yourself a little cool like ship flag but you don't need to you can make it of your favorite country you can make it of anything but if you don't want to you don't need to and you can just have your cool little origami boat okay guys so that's the end of our lesson for today it was very nice uh, doing this it's a lot of fun and yeah, guys, uh, just remember, basic thing with this, take your time. If, if you feel like it's getting overwhelming, just take a second back. It's not too hard after get the hang of it. And yeah, thank you guys. So I'll see you after school today for the rest of our virtual recess. Or if not, um, check in tomorrow for our next activity. Um, just so you guys know, though, just in case you need to grab a few things, um, tomorrow we'll need popsicle sticks or non-reusable chopsticks. You don't want to use anything reusable just because... You know, it's just you just don't need it. It's just a bit extra. And you need this. You're gonna need a sponge, and you're gonna need glue. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow.